Welcome to the P6 Release 8 Professional Standalone Upgrade Walkthrough Video. Please make sure you've set aside at least 20 minutes to view the entire presentation. I'll mention quite a few knowledge base articles that you'll be able to refer to for more details or to review the procedures I discuss in this video. During the presentation, you might want to click pause at times so that you can write down the IDs and titles shown on the screen for future reference. You can look up a particular knowledge base article by browsing to support.oracle.com, logging in using your My Oracle support account and password, typing the document ID into the search knowledge base field in the upper right and clicking the search button identified by the magnifying glass icon. Click on the article title and you'll be taken to that specific document. This video tutorial demonstrates how to upgrade an existing P6 standalone installation from version 7 to release 8.2 or 8.3 using the bundled Oracle Express database platform, also known as Oracle XE, and covers the resources needed, prerequisites, installation steps, and possible failure points and their resolutions for such an upgrade. If you're performing a new P6 standalone installation, please see the P6 Release 8 Professional Standalone Installation demonstration video. If Microsoft SQL Server Express is already on your system, or you wish to use SQL Express instead of Oracle Express, see the P6 Release 8 Standalone Installation using MS SQL Express and P6 Release 8 Standalone Upgrade using MS SQL Express videos. This also does not cover client server installations. For that, please consult the P6 Enterprise Project Portfolio Management or EPPM Administrator's Guide specific to your database server at the following URL. The tested configuration document lists database platforms, client operating systems, third-party applications, and so on that have been fully tested and are approved for use with our product. This list can be found in the documentation module you downloaded from the eDelivery website, or the most up-to-date version can be viewed online via these links which take you directly to the Oracle Technology Network documentation download site. We will continue to support the product if it's used with systems, applications, or versions that have not been tested and aren't listed in this document, but we can't guarantee that our product will function properly in such installations. If you encounter an issue with our product in such an environment and we're able to trace the cause to the use of a non-tested configuration, we may ask you to change your environment to comply with this document as a resolution. Beginning with Release 8, Primavera P6 Enterprise and P6 Professional have been split into two separate products, each using their own type of database. Although the Enterprise and Professional databases are different, the Professional client has the ability to connect to both types. However, it's important to note that when the client application is connected to an Enterprise database, certain administrative and management functions will be unavailable as they're controlled only in the P6 EPPM web application. There is no migration path between the Release 8 Enterprise and Professional databases. The only method of passing data between databases is to use the import-export functionality in each product. For further information, see the listed knowledge base articles. Methodology management has been discontinued beginning with P6 Release 8.1 and your existing application and database will not be upgraded. If you've created any methodologies you wish to keep, you'll need to convert them to projects using Project Architect before you begin upgrading. Full instructions for this can be found in the Convert Methodologies to Projects section of the P6 Release 8 Standalone Installation and Configuration Guide at the links below. Currently, there are no official minimum hardware specifications for version 8. Please be aware that the below specifications are not an official endorsement. However, based on the guidelines for running the previous version of P6 standalone application, we recommend the following as a minimum. Windows XP Service Pack 3 or later, Vista or Windows 7, either a 32-bit or a 64-bit system, a 1.8 GHz or higher processor, 2 GB of installed physical memory, and at least 2 GB of free hard disk space. To download the P6 installation files, browse to eDelivery.Oracle.com. Sign in with your My Oracle Support login and password, or if you don't have one, you can register by clicking the Sign Up link on the login page. On the next screen, there are two boxes you'll need to check to accept the terms before clicking Continue. Select Primavera Applications from the Product Pack drop-down list and your hardware platform, then click Go. If your computer is running a 64-bit Windows operating system, be sure to click the drop-down arrow and choose the Windows X64 platform before clicking Go. You'll now be presented with a list of Primavera products. 
Click on the Primavera P6 Professional Project Management R8 Media Pack for Windows, then click Continue at the bottom of the page. You'll need to download the Professional Applications module. Also recommended are the Quick Install Guide and the Documentation module, which includes the Administrator's Guide and Installation and Configuration Guide mentioned earlier in the presentation. Choose Save, not Run, and save the download file somewhere handy, such as the Desktop or your My Documents folder. Depending on your internet connection and what modules you choose, downloading could take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. Once the download is finished, double-click on the zip file and either extract all files using a utility such as WinZip or drag the P6R8 Client Applications folder out of the zip file to another location or choose the Extract All Files option from the Explorer window. For technical reasons, we recommend saving the extracted folder in the root of the drive or as close to it as possible. We recommend that the upgrade is done while logged into the computer as an administrator as full admin rights will be required for the process. If you're not already logged into Windows with an administrator level account, please do so or get assistance from your local IT person before starting the upgrade. If you're upgrading the software on a Vista or Windows 7 computer, you'll also need to disable the user account control which requires a system reboot. I'll demonstrate those steps in a bit. This knowledge base article provides additional details about upgrading on those operating systems. In addition, the Security Guidance section, starting on page 21 of the Admin Guide, provides a list of minimum system access rights required for the end user to run the software. Those settings will need modifying only if P6 won't run properly after upgrading. If you're upgrading P6 on a Windows XP computer, this step does not apply. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, you'll need to disable the user account control in order to successfully upgrade P6. To do this, click Start, Control Panel, User Accounts and Family Safety, User Accounts, Change User Account Control Settings. Drag the slider all the way to the bottom, then click OK. You'll probably be prompted to restart your computer for this change to take effect. Before upgrading, we strongly recommend that you make a copy of your current P6 database for safekeeping. The simplest way to do this is to make a copy of the relevant folders. If something goes wrong during the upgrade, you can follow the process in the Method Number 2 section of this Knowledge Base article to restore the original Oracle XE database and try again. For this method, you'll need to be sure you have enough free space on your destination drive to hold the additional 3 to 6 gigabytes of copied files. If you use an archive utility such as WinZip or 7-Zip, it will compress the files to reduce the space needed. You can also copy the files to another local hard drive, an external drive, a network or shared drive, a USB flash drive, or burn them to DVDs if they'll fit. The first step to backing up is to stop the Oracle service in order to release the lock on the database files and allow them to be copied. For Windows XP, click Start, then Run, or in Vista and Windows 7, click Start and type into the search window immediately above. Type services.msc and press Enter or click OK. When the window comes up, scroll down until you see the Oracle Service XE entry. Highlight it and choose Stop. Minimize the Services window. Don't close it as you'll be returning to it shortly. Open a My Computer window, browse to the root of your hard drive, and open the Oracle XE folder. Copy the Aura Data folder to a new location. Next, open the App folder, then the Oracle folder, and do the same for the Flash Recovery Area folder. Alternatively, if you're using an archive utility, create a zip file for each of these folders instead of copying them. Once you've finished copying or archiving the folders, restore the services window and start Oracle Service XE again. If you neglect this step, the database will be unavailable and won't get automatically upgraded. To upgrade P6, browse to the extracted files, open the Client Applications folder, and find the Setup file. For Windows XP, if you're not logged in as an administrator, we recommend that you right-click the setup file, choose Run As, and provide the administrator login information. In Windows 7, right-click the setup file and choose Run as Administrator. There are a couple of prerequisites that may need to be installed before P6 proper can be set up. Accept a licensing agreement for the Microsoft.NET framework, and if asked, click Install for the DHTML editing component and or the Java runtime environment. If setup prompted to install Java, the Java setup screen will display. Click Install to continue. For this part, you won't need to do anything beyond accepting the defaults and clicking Next when prompted. When the Java setup is done, click Close. Next, the .NET Framework will install, after which you may be prompted to reboot. If so, click Yes to restart your computer, 
After the reboot, the P6 setup will automatically restart. After your computer reboots, a message will pop up that an existing installation was detected and setup will upgrade it in place. Click OK, then at the welcome screen, click Next. Choose the standalone install option, not typical, and click Next. Now you'll be prompted to enter your current system user password. This is the one you created when installing P6 previously. If you don't know it or have forgotten it, you'll need to follow the instructions in the Knowledge Base article shown at the bottom of this screen to change it before you'll be allowed to go through the upgrade process. Enter the password and click Next. Click Install to begin the upgrade process. First, the client applications and support files will be upgraded. You'll see quite a few files and associated progress bars flash by during this part. After the application is successfully upgraded, the P6 Professional Database is next. If the database upgrade process fails for any reason, it'll usually do so almost immediately and display an error message. In a few minutes, I'll detail the resources available for dealing with that situation. This whole process can take from 5 to 15 minutes. When the upgrade process is complete, click Finish. Run P6 to test the upgrade. Note that if you usually start project management by using a shortcut on your desktop, it may not work now and you'll need to recreate it. In the meantime, click Start, All Programs, Oracle Primavera P6, P6 Professional Release 8. Enter your usual login name and password and click OK. If, instead of P6 launching, you see a message that P6 couldn't connect to the database and asking if you'd like to configure the connection, click Yes. If ORA PMDB or PMDB isn't shown in the database alias field, click in the field and replace whatever's displayed with PMDB. The driver type should be Oracle. If not, choose that from the drop down list, then click Next. The Oracle connection string is simply XE. Click Next. Enter the username PUBPRM dollar sign PM as shown. The password is the one you created during installation. Enter it, then click Next, then Next again on the review screen. You should see connection successful. If instead the connection fails, get a screenshot of the error, then contact support for assistance. Click Finish, then Select. You can now log in normally. Unlike previous versions where you chose your preferred industry type during the installation process, with P6 Release 8 you'll see a message at your first login saying that the industry hasn't yet been selected. Click OK to proceed. The next slide will explain how to select it within the P6 application. You'll see your familiar layout and projects. To select the industry type, choose Admin from the menu bar, then Admin Preferences. In the pop-up window, choose the Industry tab on the left. Select your preferred industry type and choose Close. That's it. Congratulations! Your upgrade is a success! This and the next slide lists some knowledge base articles that provide additional information about this version of P6, including differences between the various types of P6 application, the latest available service packs and maintenance updates, how to set your industry type, and using the administration configuration utility. In addition, the following articles contain instructions for resetting Oracle XE system passwords if you forget them, details on creating or modifying database connection information, steps for modifying the default database location, for instance, to keep them on a different hard drive, and a list of links to many other knowledge base articles relating to P6. If you're still having trouble getting P6 upgraded, or you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact us using one of the methods provided on the indicated web page. This concludes the P6 Release 8 Professional Standalone Upgrade Walkthrough video. Thanks for watching.